This is how you can make an advanced moderation Discord bot with RoboJS. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also have the bot tier, which is a full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos, as well as three bot packages, which are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go and get in the code so we're going to be using robojs for this which allows you to essentially download a pre-coded discord bot right into your own file in the past i've made videos before on it and i even have my own templates you can go in and access these templates in the description below because we're actually going to go ahead and use one of these uh, to add in the moderation plugin but essentially how this works is we're going to go ahead and download the template for the discord bot which is the structure of the bot and then we're going to go ahead and add the moderation plugin which is going to add a bunch of different moderation commands like ban kick report and a bunch of other things Things, as well as an integrated moderation system that allows you to do a lot of moderation activities. It also is going to give you context commands, moderation channels, and a seamless setup with AI integration, which is very cool. So the first thing that we're going to go in and do to create a Discord bot is create a Discord bot. So go ahead and go to the developer portal, which will be in the description below, and go ahead and click on new application. You can go ahead and give it a name and agree and create. I already have a Discord bot that we're gonna be using for this, so I'm just gonna keep it here. After you go ahead and create your Discord bot, you can go ahead and add it to your server by going to OAuth2, and you can go ahead and come down here. We can go ahead and select bot, and we can go ahead and give it the administrator permissions, and then you can use the guild install type here. Then go ahead and copy this link and add it to the server that you want to test this in. For me, as you can see, my Discord bot is already in my Discord server, and it's online because I have a program running, but that's okay, yours is not gonna be online. So now that we've created a Discord bot, let's go ahead and create a new file on our desktop so that we can go ahead and install the dev toolkit package from RoboJS, and then we can go in and add the moderation plugin to it. So to do that, let's go ahead and go to our desktop. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. Within the folder, let's go ahead and click up in this top area and go ahead and type in CMD. Once you go in and press enter, it's going to open up the command prompt. So like I mentioned, we're going to be using the dev toolkit package with RoboJS. All these links will be in the description as well. So we can actually go ahead and use this command. So let's go ahead and copy it and we can go ahead and paste it uh, right in here and we're just going to change the project name to moderation testing so we can go ahead and click enter and it's going to go ahead and think for a little bit because it has to download all of the files into the project so now that it's done downloading the files it's going to need our discord client id so to get that let's go back over to the developer portal we can go over to general information and we can go ahead and click on the application id so let's go ahead and copy it and we can go ahead and paste it in here now it's going to need our token. So again, we can go back over to the developer portal. Let's go over to bot and you're going to need to reset your token. As it says here, tokens can only be viewed once. So make sure you save it. Otherwise, you're going to have to reset it again. Once you have your token, go ahead and paste it in here and click enter. So now that you've done that, we have our RoboJS dev toolkit package installed so we can do code space dot and we can go in and open it up so here is our discord bot this is a fully functional discord bot as is but because this video is on moderation we want to go ahead and set that up so to do that let's go over into terminal we can do new terminal this time we can use our moderation plugin because it's a plugin we can just add it to our existing project if you were to go ahead and create a new project with the plugin then it would not use the dev toolkit package which uses javascript and some other things that we use on this channel so uh, just go ahead and do it like we've set up so we can go in and actually click on this we can go in and copy it and we can go ahead and paste it into the terminal so this is adding the moderation plugin just like before it's going to take a little bit to install so now as you can see here we have the plugin installed so now we're all set to go ahead and turn the bot on so we can do npm and we can do run dev just like that so it's going to go ahead and think for a minute again and it's going to go in and start now, as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and say commit changes. So it's gonna commit all the commands that were already in our commands folder, as well as a bunch of moderation commands. Um, and then it's gonna go ahead and say it's on standby. So this moderation system is not customizable. So we don't even have access to the command files in here, uh, but you can customize everything else in the bot. So if you'd like to go ahead and do that, you can, but the moderation commands are gonna stay as is. So because we're not customizing anything, this is just a tutorial on the moderation commands. Let's go ahead and go over into our Discord and we can test this out. All right, so over in the Discord, as you can see, we have our bot that is online. Let's go ahead and open up our slash command menu. So in here, as you can see, we have some of our default commands as well as all of our moderation commands. So let's go ahead and start by setting up the system. We can go ahead and set up uh, the channel that we're in. 
um, for our logs and for our moderator mail as well. There's also these buttons that you can go ahead and play with if you'd like to test them out. Now let's go ahead and set up the rules message. Uh, so we can do this one here and we're just gonna leave it as is because I was testing this before. Um, now we have our rules message set up. So now let's go ahead and set the rules message um, member role. So we can just do M and I'm gonna remove it from myself as well. This is going to be the member role within the server so that we can actually go ahead and send the rules message here. Um, and then when we go ahead and send it, as you can see, we're gonna have the rules message that we set up before, and then it's gonna have an I accept button. So this would be in your rules channel. And if you go ahead and do I accept, as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and give me the members role. So this has an integrated verification system within the moderation system of this Discord bot. So there's a bunch of other moderation commands as well. Um, we have kick, we have ban, we have timeout, uh, and we also have warn. So let's go ahead and test out our warn. Let's go ahead and warn this bot, and we can say testing warn system. Uh, we can also add a message ID that triggered the warn. So if we wanted to link something like uh, maybe a bad word that they sent in the channel or whatever, we could send that and we can set it to anonymous. So if we go ahead and send it here, as you can see, it's going to be warned. Now, I believe what we can do is we can check the audit of that user um, and they should have one infraction now. So as you can see, it's going to say they're active and they have one infraction. We can also ban them with this audit. Now we can also use the forgive command. And if we go ahead and run it, it's going to go ahead and say you've been forgiven. Um, and then if we go ahead and run the audit command again, this time the infraction should be at zero. So the warn system is pretty functional there as well. Now let's go ahead and test out one more thing. Uh, let's go ahead and use our report system. So let's just go ahead and report that member and we can say testing. Um, and then again, we can do anonymous and evidence if we wanted to. Um, and as you can see, it's going to say thank you for filing a report. And then within the logs channel that we pre-set up, uh, it's going to go ahead and send the report and member reported by messages as well. So this is a very advanced moderation system that's all integrated within RoboJS and your Discord bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.